Hey everyone, I wanted to have a pup date. It is now Aura's first birthday, or was a couple days ago, and I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the milestones we seem to have hit, at least in raising her. I apologize for the lack of updates. I have been out of town helping my parents move in Arizona, and if you guys have followed on the Instagram or the TikTok, I'm sure you have seen all of our desert adventures. Part of things I want to talk about is, you know, in earlier videos, I, I really talk about the need to train your borzoi to recall it's so important for sight hounds they're so independent they just want to run away they they don't want to listen to you and we have spent so many months working on recall with aura that i did not know what was going to happen once she got off leash and you know in arizona we luckily were in areas where there was a lot of land there was not a lot of cars actually any cars at all it was a good place to test her reaction to being off a leash and we are very happy to say that all of the techniques that we have been implying and drilling into her have worked incredibly well we were shocked to find that she was very similar to esper that she would always stay within sight of us she was very she listened to our commands one thing we did notice is that you know at least in the beginning we started using like come here instead of just come and um, there seems to be a big difference between having the two words and the single word. So just the, the, the stern cum seemed to work even better, especially when you just bang your head. <laughs> oh, baby doll, are you okay? It's okay. It's her nap. She just smacked her head on the window. Um, so yeah, we, we found that that worked better. And it just, it works so well. You know, we had been working on how for her to stay attentive and wanted to her to pay attention to us. And... You know, it worked, it, it just worked great. There was no moments where we felt that she was wandering or we felt that she wanted to, to go away and go on her own. Like her main concern was checking in with us, which is so important, the eye contact, the checking in uh, and checking in with her sister. You know, so I didn't know. I, I thought maybe I'd be coming back and tell this video like all we did, everything we did was a total failure, but I'm happy to say that it wasn't. And, you know, working on those recall exercises that we talked about, about how you stand between two people and you have them go back and forth, everything really seemed to work. You know, so aside from that, we have, uh, you know, it seemed to be that one years old was a big emotional turning point for Aura too. And in the last month, she has gotten so much more independent in her thinking as, you know, part of the family. She knows where she is in the pack. She's, she's you know, challenging Esper for things, but then, you know, also respecting people's boundaries. It's, 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 it's so interesting to watch this next tier of lights come on. It's not just the basic, like, listening and, and thinking. It's more of, like, this personality is coming on. It's really incredible. Another thing, um, we are now very confident in Aura's potty training, and we have had, she has graduated to not sleeping in the crate anymore, and I know it's probably me just giving my dog emotions, but I feel like she has, um, she's really proud of herself for not having to sleep in the crate. I think the first night she just was like, what is this? I can sleep wherever I can in the house, and uh, she did, and she has done wonderfully. With this independence and this coming of age, we found that her, you know, we were worried. Sometimes we'd leave the house and she would whine and she was very attached to us. And I think as she has, you know, got a little older, she's starting to become a borzoi and she's just understanding like, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't need to freak out. They're going to come home and, and everything is going to be okay. Uh, but I just want to thank you guys. This has been a full year's journey um, up until this point to have this little noodle be so well behaved I, I can't thank you guys enough so many people have reached out to me and either shown me pictures of dogs they've gotten or or said how much these videos helped and I appreciate hearing that you know I didn't know what I was doing when I was making these so I'm, I'm happy that our experiences have helped you you know um, and I, I really appreciate you hearing it. So if you ever want to send me a message, and I love seeing puppy pictures. So I, I, I love seeing those as well. Please keep the questions coming. Um, you know, luckily, I, th I don't think TikTok's going to get banned, but it might get banned. And if it does get banned, I'll still be making videos, videos here on YouTube. 
Uh, there's also a good chance I'm going to be spending some time in Arizona coming up in the future, and, and we can do some more videos about uh, having pups not in a city setting. I know most of my videos are talking about how you have to be so careful with dogs in a city setting. Um, but yeah, happy birthday to Aura. Thank you, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.